For the past two years, I've been known as the Hive Secrets Guy, being known for finding all of the secrets throughout the Hive. Though today, I think it's safe to say that I've pretty much found most, if not all of the major secrets that you can find on the Hive. Though, there's still some more secrets left. So, with that being said, I present to you the Hive Secrets Finale. Our first secret brings us to a somewhat brand new Skywars hub. This hub, from what I've known, hasn't had many secrets or any at all. Though recently, it was found out that there's actually a secret room in this hub. By going right behind the entrance of this hub and going into the shop, you can actually find a secret basement which leads you to a secret room filled with gold. And in the grand scheme of things, this secret room may seem really easy to find. Which it is. But even one of the most prominent staff members on the Hive, Flodger, didn't even know that this room existed or even knew where it was. I didn't even know it existed until I saw it posted on Twitter, which is pretty embarrassing considering that this stream has existed for at least four months now, give or take. The next secret brings us back to the hub. If you haven't been caught up with the hive for a while, you may not have known that they've recently released back blings, which are pretty cool looking in my opinion. My favorite one in my opinion is the Cuddle Bear back bling, because you know, my name is Plushy. Anyways, this is the Lunar Wings back bling, and you may recognize that this back bling comes from somewhere else. I'll give you a moment to guess. If you guessed that these are the same wings from the dragon pet, you'd be correct. Both the blue and green wings are just ripped off the blue and green variants of the dragon, and the regular version of the lunar wings is just a recolor. Our next secret brings us to one of the newest maps on the Hive, that being Solar Escape and Capture the Flag. At first glance, this map may not seem too interesting, but taking a closer look, we can actually discover a pretty interesting secret. Let me ask you a question. Do you recognize this block? Well, if you said that this block was from Block Party, you'd be correct. For some reason, the Hive decided to build with the colorblind blocks from Block Party, which you can see even more of these blocks if you look around the map harder. I don't really know why they built with these blocks, as some of them look kinda out of place in my opinion, but nevertheless, it's still somewhat interesting. Next up, we're going to be going to the map with probably the most interesting secrets you'll be seeing in this video. That map being Toka. Most of the secrets can be found in the city part of the map. Starting off with this cat, which at first may seem like a regular cat and has no significance at all. But this is actually a reference to a cat billboard which was seen in Tokyo. And you can definitely see the similarities between the two. Next, there are multiple references to different things about the hive on this map. For example, you can see the tomato and lemon costume and the lottle and the alien costume as billboards on this map. You can also spot the robot from Treasure Wars along with the glass on Splodger skin and the Time Owl costume as well. What I bet you didn't know though is that there are multiple references to different Hive maps on this map. For example, this screen right here is an image of the Hive hub, and this screen right here is a reference to Free Capture the Flag maps, that being Oryx, Lago, and Altaria. And over here, I'm pretty sure that this is the billboard for the campsite Capture the Flag map if I had to assume, but I may be wrong on that. This next reference may be a bit of a stretch, but I'm pretty sure that this billboard is a reference to the map Pigment from Murder Mystery, as it has the same exact color scheme from the map. This next secret is a secret that I'm surprised not many people know about. This secret is in the Skywars lobby, and if you go the way I'm going right now, you can find a secret parkour, and by doing this parkour, you can get on top of the spawn building. And although this may seem like a pretty small secret, many people don't know that this is possible. I didn't know about this until my friend told me about it, in which he said that multiple people thought he was hacking, as they had no clue on how he got up here. Lastly, we'll be traveling to the Capture the Flag map, Pirate's Paradise, which has a big connection to one of the most prominent secrets on the Hive. Pretty much, if you don't know, there's secret lore of the Pirates on the Hive, and although we don't have the full context yet, it's pretty evident that the Pirates on the Hive have a connection to the Wither Roses. We know this because in literally every single place that has a somewhat connection to Pirates, a Wither Rose always seems to be there, and I don't really know why. There's a couple theories I've seen, like that the Wither Roses were brought over by the Pirates and in turn spread a disease across the Hive, which is definitely a bit crazy, but anyways, on this map, we can once again see many Wither Roses scattered around the map, which once again emphasizes that yes, there's 100% a connection between the two. I seriously have no clue what any of this could mean. It's also important to mention that the Wither Roses did play a massive part in the Backrooms hunt as well. So hey, maybe the Pirates had a connection with that as well? I honestly don't really know. But what we do know is that the Pirates are definitely going to play a big part in the Hive suit, as it is confirmed that they will be involved with the release of Bedwars. So hey, maybe one day we'll finally figure out the connection between the two. Alright, it's uh, 1 a.m. and I decided to add on a little bit more to this video. Uh, so pretty much Bedwars came out and there's only like two secrets, I'm pretty sure. The first one is all the way to the back of the hub and it's all the way on that ship over there. I don't feel like swimming all of that, so I'm just going to use a, uh, what's it called, a mount. Alright, but anyways, once you get to the ship, you want to walk into, I think it's this room up here. Yeah, this room right here. Okay, so once you go into this room, as you can see, it looks normal, but there's like a little hidden banner right here. It's like a secret room. Go down it and, uh, wow, it's a bunch of... Uh, treasure pretty cool now we're gonna want to go into a bedwars lobby now as of right now you can't really create a cs without like 
tapping on this NPC. So just do that if you can't create a CS right now. But anyways, we're gonna walk all the way over to like the new floating ship or whatever. And just like do the parkour, it's pretty easy. All right, and once we do the parkour, we wanna get all the way to this island right here. And as you can see, it looks normal, right? You know, we reached the end of the parkour, but it's actually really like kind of hard to see. But there's actually a secret entrance right here. Like most people don't see this unless they're like swimming in the water. But as you can see right here, sign that says congrats and there's uh there's coins and golden stuff it's pretty cool but yeah that's like pretty much all the secrets i found in bed wars so far which like the only secrets that there typically is in games like this is in the hub and like the lobby they don't typically add secrets on the maps because like like there's, like there's not gonna be a secret room on like a map because that could like ruin the gameplay you know also, I want to quickly give an update on the backrooms hunt, as it has been a bit. Which, if it isn't evident by now, yes, the backrooms hunt is over, unfortunately. Which sucks, as it was really fun. Anyways, it's time to get to the real meat and potatoes of this video. Why is this the last Hive Secrets video? Well, there's a lot, and I think it's time that I be honest with you guys, as it's only the fair thing to do. Alright, here I go, I'm gonna say it. I don't like the Hive anymore. Please don't kill me for saying that, but it's just the truth. I just genuinely don't have the same joy of the server that I once did, and that's perfectly fine. It's completely normal for people to grow out of things that they once loved. That isn't the only reason though, as that would be silly in my opinion. Number two is that the Hive just doesn't really have any secrets anymore. As you can tell from this video, there weren't really many secrets, and also in my opinion, they weren't really interesting as well. This can also be attributed to the fact that the Hive doesn't really update much anymore, which is completely fine by the way, but unfortunately, this just leads to worse videos, and I don't like that, because I want to make entertaining content, and I genuinely just dislike my past videos. Why? Because I don't like them. I don't think they're entertaining. Why should I expect you guys to like my content when I don't even like it myself? If you actively watch Hive, I am sure you are very, very tired of your favorite creators quitting, and that's perfectly reasonable. It's okay to be sad over it and mad, but truthfully, this is just how many creators on the Hive are feeling, and it sucks. I want to make better, bigger, and greater videos for you guys, and unfortunately, Hive Secrets isn't going to be the way I I'm going to be able to do that. Now, I just want to preface by saying, please don't unsubscribe. Don't worry. No, don't worry. I'm not moving the Java Edition, as I actually kind of dislike Java Edition. I love Bedrock Edition so much, and I like it way more than Java Edition. Also, I'm not moving to another server as well. So if you had any worries that I was like transferring to like Cubecraft or something, don't worry, I'm not. I have a lot of really, really good video ideas in my backlog right now. And I genuinely believe that these videos will be some of the best you'll ever see from Minecraft Bedrock. And because you like the Hive, I'm pretty positive that you play Minecraft Bedrock and you like it as well. So you're definitely gonna like these videos. For example, I have over a 30 minute video featuring some of your guys' favorite creators. And in my opinion, it's a really good video. By the way, I don't want anyone to get the impression that I'm like not thankful for the Hive or something because I am so thankful for the Hive and everything the server has done for me. It's given me a platform to entertain thousands of people and has allowed me to meet so many people as well. Overall though, I really, really appreciate all of the love you've all shown me for the past two years. It has been a really, really amazing journey. And I hope that you're all ready to go through a new chapter of my channel. I promise, you're gonna want to be ready for some of the videos I've planned. Anyways, it has been an honor being the Hive Secrets guy for the past two years, though unfortunately, I think my time has come. Thank you for everything, and stay tuned.